What's up guys, my name's Edwin, and today, today, we are going to be playing Win Yandere's Cry. Now, it's been a while since I've done an RPG, and since Yandere's usually involve horror RPGs, which I like a lot, I thought, why not give this one a go, because I heard it was actually pretty good. So, let's get started on this, and, uh, click New Game. Would you like to play the tutorial? Uh, sure. Let's do it. I don't know why I need it, but welcome to the tutorial. Well, thank you. Here we will teach you the basic controls and concepts of the game. Use the arrow key to move your character. Press enter space or Z to select OK. Press X to escape. Okay, so it's not... Oh, not press X to cancel. Um, not that complicated. Try it on objects around you. Okay, let's check the doll. A very creepy looking doll. That's right! Dolls are creepy. Press F4 to use full screen. Okay, thank you, doll, for telling me that. View information on Yandere's. Yandere is a uh, port man. I do not know how to say the word of two Japanese words, yandere meaning to be sick, and dere dere, which is defined as strongly and deeply exhausted, infatu inflatuated, moonstruck, head over heels, or a love struck. But in this case, love struck. Throughout the game, you will encounter the Yandere's. You don't know it, but they will be watching you, hidden from plain sight. Getting in contact with them depletes your health and sanity. Okay, so they'll kill me. What a shock. Be sure to use the shift key to run fast. Oh, woo! We can go Sonic fast, okay. I like that. Try to interact with as many objects as you can. Sometimes they might contain some clues and other information. Oh, and other and other times it's something else. Sorry, I read that wrong. This one contains different kinds of books, mostly novels. Okay, what's this? A very well-made sculpture. I don't recognize the person's though. Oh, the person though. So I think we're called Ni Nishiki. I think that's how we're pronounced. I think. I probably still said it wrong, but I am trying. <laughs> View controls? Uh, sure. Use arrow keys. So it's the exact same thing. And menu. Okay. So we can go to here. I see my health and ins sanity. And insanity? I didn't see the insanity until now. They didn't talk about that. Can we go insane? Can we become a yandere? Be careful of what lurks in the shadows. A very stylish case is filled with very antique displays. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be anything in here. What about the curtains? Do you want to open the curtains? Yes. Okay, we opened the curtains. So we are moving forward. These things you see are very important on your journey. The clock will be your save point and the note will be your guide. Keep your eyes open for these two. Do you want to... Oh, okay. Yeah, let's say. So it makes like a weird static sound when you say it for some reason. That's cool. Read it. Sure. March 2nd, 2016. Try to read every note and letters you can find. You just might be able to be the one to discover the dark past of Von Versalius? Versalius? Uh, mansion. Okay. Koshuki Shi. I don't know how to pronounce half of these names. Do you want to open the curtains? Uh, yes. Let's go to the dark- ooh. Read it. Press a zero spacer or enter to move through doors. There's a door on the right. Try it. What about on the left? Oh, I can't go to the left. Okay, we go to the right then. Screw the left. No one wants to go that way. In here, you can view descriptions of different characters. Go to the door on the right when you're ready. There's blood on the walls. I just noticed that, but I guess that's okay. Oh, hello there. My name is Yuno Kurosawa. Kurosawa. I think that's how it's said. This place is a little creepy, don't you think? At least I know how to say Yuna. Uh, we do not need view description on him. Uh, May. Mi mi my Miyamoto? Miyamoto? Mei Miyamoto. How are you doing? Have you been good today? Have I been good today? Sure, I have. <laughs> I guess I've been okay. What's this mirror? Look at that. I look pretty nice today. I look pretty swell. <laughs> That's awesome. 
View description. Can I view the description? Nishiki. Oh, no, I could click on them and then view something else. Okay, Nishiki is a sophomore student. He is very friendly. Actually, most of all, he is very kind, especially towards girls, whoever they may be. Okay. Okay, so let's check out Yuna. View description. Yuna is an athlete, but still a well-mannered type of person. She likes teasing other people, especially if she has feelings for them. Ooh. Interesting. She is also a sophomore and one of Nishiki's classmates. Okay, classmates probably teasing me and I look good. I mean, what's not to love? <laughs> um, what about this one? What about May? May is Nishiki's childhood friend and love interest. After the two get together, they decide to go on a mountain trip. She is a very kind, responsible type of person. She goes to a different school than Nishiki. Good day. My name is Akiko Higura Higurashi. K Akiko Higurashi. Be nice to me, okay? I guess we'll try to be nice. We're nice to everyone, from what I'm aware. Akiko is a junior high school student. She is a very girly and collects a lot of cute stuff. She is also very childish and not a very knowledgeable about love, and she lacks experience in it. Okay, so she's a year younger than us. Not really. Mm. I'm Kira. Kiro Sh Sonazaki. Sonazaki? Nice to meet you. He. He he. Okay? Is she like a shy, creepy person? Um, Kira is a junior, and she is what most people would describe as weird. Okay, so so far I, I got it right. I got it semi-right. She is a very into the occult, and also not a sociable type of person, but she does open up to people she likes. Huh. Good evening, my name is Sun Sunuko Sa Sanak- I can't even say her name. Sunuko uh, Hanabi. Would you mind getting me my chufe or chauffeur? I don't even know. I have some things I oh chauffeur. Uh, some things I need to, for him to do. So is she like a rich pampered girl? Sanaku is a very sophisticated and classy type of person. She speaks in a very well mannered way, but is also a natural leader and a mastermind. She is a very highly respected and also a senior, age seventeen. Okay, so she's basically rich and speaks well. Understood. Let's just get out of here. Oh, is that it for the, the tutorial? I think it is. This story, or rather, my story, started about three months prior. I had a friend, a childhood friend, whom I fell in love with a very long time ago. After years and years of mustering up the courage to finally confess, I did. I took her to the park one day. After a little bit of a beating around the bush, my childhood best friend and I finally admitted our long-kept feelings for each other. It was the most golden time of my life. So you did it. Congrats, man. You didn't get friend-zoned. <laughs> Her name was Ma my Miyamoto Mei, a beautiful angel disguised as my best friend, is how I would describe her. About a few weeks ago, Mei and I decided to spend summer on a mountaintop, or mountain trip, I think he said. We wanted to enjoy the company of a nature and also celebrate our newfound relationship. The days were filled with fun, and we both enjoyed the company of each other. After a few days, we got a few surprising visitors. Surprising visitors, okay. A few girls from my school, who are fairly close to me, are also having a vacation on the same mountain. Sure, there's not a bunch of yandere's, right? Sure, they're not like a bunch of all yandere's, right? Me and I decided to spend the rest of the days with them, as we pretty much already enjoyed our solitary time together. The girls quickly become, became friends, and the remaining days were filled with laughter and relaxation. With the creepy music in the background, I don't know how relaxing it was. On our last night, me and I made a promise to meet under a certain tree at 9pm. I came half an hour early to make sure that I'll be there before her. 
and us, and so I waited. I waited and waited and waited and waited and waited. But she never came. It was around 11 p.m. when I decided to finally look for her. God damn! God damn, you waited that long? Two and a half hours. That's, that's a little ridiculous. If you're wondering, was I able to find her? Then the answer is yes. Yes, I found her. When yonder rays cry. So I guess this is like, so far it seems... I think what's going to happen and what's going to determine some of the story, because I think there's multiple endings for this. When we find her, it's going to be a matter of what's before it, right? Or is she dead right now? No, what have you- What have you done to- May? What the fuck? Oh, we already got it. I was expecting something totally different. Shiki-san, well, um, it was because... She was getting in our way, Nishiki-kun. It's her fault for meddling with you. She has done nothing. She hasn't done anything. And what the hell do you mean meddling with me, you demon? Oh, didn't you know? Her heart was set on you. So <laughs> I had to take it. <laughs> it's because we love you, Nishiki-san. We've always loved you. Yet. Yeah. She was always, 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 always right beside you! I can't take it! No, Shiki-kun. Give me your heart. I'll cherish it always. No! Come with me, Shiki-san. I'll love you till the end. No matter what. No matter what. Oh, both of you are sick in the head! Okay. That went, um, interesting. <sighs> Shit! This can't be happening. No, this can't be happening. May. She may still be alive. She needs medical attention. I need to look for her help. I need to look for help. Um, is there a way to save? Can I go back in? I can't return there. But why not? It seems pretty safe. There's two lovely girls in there. It's just an ordinary stuff. Nothing interesting here. So are any of these actually- Ooh, I have no time for this! <laughs> it's a small hill. I have no time for this. Interesting. I was just wondering if there's anything else. Because they told me to interact with things. I don't see anything else that we need to interact with. Be sure to interact with objects found in the area. Check your inventory for items that you find. Press X or escape to view the main menu. Okay. So, or is nothing interesting? What's the barrel doing out here? Do you want to check it? Hell yes, I want to check it! Garbage, rotting food, demon mouse? Oh, dead mouse. And what's this? An old note. Hmm. What's this note? June 7th, 1931. That is a really long time ago. I am on my way to the mansion, hidden deep inside these mountains. A friend of mine recommended me as a maid to a very rich man named Raphael von... Screw his last name. My friend told me that he's a bit of a womanizer, and that I should limit contact with him as much as I can. But the pay... It was too much to refuse. With just a years of working there, I could set myself a shop, possibly support my whole family and my poor little siblings. I've made up my mind. I mean, I, it can't be that bad, right? Yumi said that. Okay. And there's a dead thing up there. There's a cross. That's kind of concerning. We can go left or right. Can I climb up there? I think I'm going to go to the left. <gasps> Wait, can I climb up this? Oh, I can't go back there. Yeah, let's go to the left. Let's try the left. This doesn't seem old stuff. How do you get up there to look at the cross, though? We can go forward, but let's continue going left. 
Did I just go back to the same spot? I think I did. What? This is different. So, I got two different paths. See, this one looks a lot more lively. The other one looks a lot more deadly. So, let's head towards the dead one. Because that's probably the right way. Yeah, the right way to go. I see a dead tree, so I'm assuming. Ooh! There's a lot of dead people here. It, it probably was. What's in here? The right way. What? I was murdered? I was murdered for looking at a well? What the hell? So we're trying back up here again. Took me a bit to get back. Don't look in the well, basically. The death are always sad. I have to avenge me. So the same thing. What about this? Please don't kill me. This hole isn't a dugout recently. It's probably been here for years now. So is this literally just a, a death trap? I think it's just a death trap. So I guess we'll say screw this way and go to the way that doesn't look like it's dead. I was expecting that to be the right way, but I guess not. It killed me. Let's go through the more alive way then. I am back here again. What the hell? Nothing seems to be hidden here. Nothing seems to be hidden here. So, am I missing something? So, I, I'm going to have to check this. I better hurry up and look for her. Can I climb up these? Is it like a, uh, a code? <gasps> I found it! I don't know how I did, but I did it! Is that Yuna? Yuna! Yuna! Nishiki, what are you? Yuna! You have heard what I've said. You have. I can speak right now. You have to hear what I have to say. Something really bad just happened. I couldn't believe. Whoa, 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 Nishiki. Calm down. Tell me what's wrong slowly, okay? <laughs> Sonoko san and Akiko, they tried to kill me. They what? She looked kind of happy if you noticed in her little thing. They're coming after uh, me, Yuna. And they'll get you too! We better run! Wait! An abandoned mansion? Yuna, let's go inside! They won't find us there! Is this... It's... Nishiki? Yes? Why are we running? What do you mean? I could have killed them for you. Yuna? Let you know, um, we could not do this right now, Yandere. What did you just say? I said I could kill them for you. Without them, nothing will come between us after all, right? Nishiki. I'm dead. So dead. <laughs> Uh, you bastard! You're one of them? What do you mean, one of them? Only belong to you, Nishiki. And you belong to me. <laughs> Is she gone? I don't think she would just walk off like that because the door is closed. Nishiki, open the door, please. Shit. Fuck off already! Don't even try to get inside, you bastard! Nishiki, that hurts my feelings, you know. But I still love you. I'll see you later then, Nishiki. Okay. Okay. I, I think, um, I think we're dead. We have a lot of Yandere's. I, I thought they were all going to be Yandere's. I was hoping for one normal one. I think she's gone, finally. Now, I need to find some supplies to defend myself while I look for help. There's three of them out there, and I need to be careful. Probably four, because there was another girl that we haven't met just yet. There's another girl. Okay. 
A very well made sculpture. I don't recognize the person though. The bottle of wine must have been here for a long time. An old book and nothing interesting in here. Okay. Guess we'll save right here. Do you want to save? Yeah, let's save. A sack of old books. Nothing interesting. The shelf contains some very antique decorations. What a crate doing here. What's a crate doing here? I don't have any means of opening it, though. Huh. So we got plenty of ways to go. I assume we don't want to go back outside, right? Yeah, I can't let them in. Okay. A dog! A creepy fucking dog! Has a button behind it. Press it. Do I press the button? Hell yes, I do. I meant, what? Why did I press that button? Well, this is creepy. Can I... Can I press it again? There's double the voices now! Okay. I don't like creepy dolls. I don't like them. They're so weird. Hmm. Based on this diary, it seems like the owner of this house likes to play the piano. So what if we play the piano? There's nothing in this drawer. This clock looks unbalanced. Wait. There's something behind it. Check the back of the clock. He found a mysterious key. I wonder where I can use this. I wonder why they had a mysterious key behind the clock. I tried learning a piano once. I gave up after the third day. Well, you're a quitter then. You could have played it. Third day? I like, at least when I was playing guitar, I did like months on end of it. So. The floors are really broken. I need to proceed with caution. Can we fall in? Okay, I can't force myself to fall in. What's this way then? Can I actually I should check these really quick. Nothing? Doesn't seem like anything's here. Should I try to use the key on this door? The door unlocks. There's blood here. And that looks pretty fresh if you <laughs> what the hell is this weird? Like, hopefully, maybe it's not blood. Maybe it's wine. We can hope for that. What's this note? There's another note by Yumi. Read it? Of course. September 23rd, 1931. I've been working in the Von whatever mansion for over three months now. The master of the house is indeed a very interesting man. Now the ma uh, madame made him. Madam, uh, she's nuts, the madam, yeah. Madam, she's nuts. On my first day, she was a very cranky, hot-headed, and very easy displeased. For my own sake, I decided to avoid her as much as I can, leaving a room when she enters, using a different set of stairs when she's coming down or up. The other maids had it very badly. Most, if not all, have already been abused, hit with a rod, plate, or broom. One even got burned by- holy shit! They work for you, and you're doing that to them by boiling water when the madame got furious of her husband. Huh. Did they, like, cheat? Is that why she's angry? Because he did say womanize, womanizer. Um, I also noticed madame hiding things in different places. Just now, she was placing something underneath the fireplace. I don't know what it is or what it's for, but I won't meddle with whatever she's doing. I'll try to keep this, this low profile as long as I can for now. I hope the master doesn't take any interest in, in me. Oh. I feel bad for these people. Yeah, I would too. I, w I would also. A half moon of Yunagasai. Interesting title. Future Diary. Yeah. Very interesting. An empty pot. Empty pot. Shelf contains some very antique decorations. A broken picture of a man and woman. So, yeah, they must be the owners. I was going to say that's probably the owners. An ominous feeling. Is this just a bunch of... Okay, so every time we click the blood, something's going to happen. Ooh, there's a... Dole above us. Wait, there's something glittering in there. 
reach for it. Go for it, man! Hmm, what's this? He found the statue room key. Now, where is this room? The shelf contains some very antique decorations. That is also a skeleton. This guy has a name tag. Why would you give a name tag to that? I don't know why you need a name tag, but I guess that's cool. Try key on the door. The door is still locked. So I guess we'll go to the right. What's here? It looks locked. Are these all locked? The art of a murder. Why do you have this in here? The people who used to live here had this kind of books? A creepy. Yeah, a little creepy. There's a tiny bit that they have murder books inside here. Just a tiny bit. All locked. I did like the reference of Yunogase, that's hilarious. Based on the diary, it seems like the owner likes to read and paint. Huh. There is a painting right here. An empty canvas. Too bad I can't paint. I sat on the chair for God knows how long before falling asleep. I slept on the chair? I was just clicking space on the chair. Okay. And then I woke up. Did I just fall asleep? What happened? Hey, what's that over there? I died. At least I saved, though. I mean, I guess at least I saved. So it's not too bad. I might as well reload this. But I at least know not to touch the chair. Don't fall asleep on... I tried to learn piano once I gave up on the third try. So as long as I don't try to fall asleep on chairs, I'll be alive. Nothing behind that one. There's like a thing right there. I think I'd be able to interact with that. Huh. I guess not. What's over here then? It's nice and dark. Destroyed. Let me check these two really quick. Try it. It unlocked. Door select. The middle? I can't go through the middle. I meant go to the left side and then the middle. Or to the left. Let's check the left first. There's a clunk here. Two weird statues that I don't understand why they're here? Huh. Oh, it unlocked. It unlocked. We can go in. Huh. That's pretty creepy. Those are pretty creepy. A. Oh, wait, that had something on its nose. No. A, no. Something that's on his nose. Pie. Pie, a no? A no pie? <laughs> um, no pie, a? Uh? I don't know. Is there, like, a name that I need to give out? It's empty. So that is something. Is this a save? Enter the passcode. Well, fuck, I don't know it. Wrong code! I know that. Door still locked. So I have no pie uh at least or pie uh no. I think it's how I got <gasps> curtains. Oh I can't go on the curtains. I was thinking that you could open that. <sighs> so I noticed something about this that I didn't really notice before and it's piano. By the way. It is piano. So I guess I have to go to the piano downstairs. There's two pianos. I started learning piano, so this one, nothing. Let's try the other piano then. Maybe that has something. I'm assuming it's on the side because I clicked it up front on both of them. I started learning piano once. Is there... It says piano? Is there something I'm missing? Wait, i never seen this. A terrible incident occurred in these very mansions two years ago. There is an entity in here that you, we cannot stop nor seal. Our only option is to abandon this place in hope that that people who read this leaves immediately. I can tell you no more, but please stay away from this shadow. I really hope that isn't true. I don't remember seeing that there. 
by the way. Like, I really don't. I'm trying to make sure, like, maybe I accidentally didn't click something. Checking the piano again. Because I did say the piano. <gasps> Fucking finally! And maybe it was the note. Then I need to check the other piano as well. I think the note might have fixed that. You found a note. December 5th, 1931. Things are starting to go on a very wrong turn. I don't mean the master. Well, he did harass me a few times, but that's not it. It's worse. The master felt sick and hasn't come out of his room in almost a month now. The madame doesn't say anything and always keeps this emotionless face on her all the time. I believe she's hiding something from the uh, from the workers. She wouldn't even let us give him food. She gives it to him directly, so I assume it's poison then. One more thing that's having to disappear um, the, the, uh, is the disappearance of the maids. Specifically, the ones a Mr. V took interest in. I'm not one of them, luckily, but a few of my friends and cokers were four maids have already disappeared, and this is this very weird stench keeps leaking out of the master's bedroom. It's worse. It's worse comes to worse. I hid a baseball bat somewhere in the house just to be safe. Okay. So there's a baseball bat hidden somewhere. And in the master's room, there's something up. I'm going to save really quick. So I am assuming, uh, because I clicked on everything, that I have a note um, in here that will tell me what I need. So there is the piano note. So it did stick with us. So it's got to be some type of value. So 1931, I see that. December 5th. Um... I'm looking for any type of code that would give it to me. I see four maids. Uh, specifically the ones Mr. V took interest in. I'm not one of them, luckily. But a few of my friends and co-workers were, were. Four maids have already disappeared. And this is very weird since keeps... So, is it for some... The, the date? Possibly? So the date could be it? I'm taking a guess that it might be. Uh, 1931. I'll try that first. 1931. Wrong code. <gasps> There's 4768 at the bottom. I just noticed that. I just noticed that. 4768. 4... 7... Six, eight. Safe unlocked. There's another key in here. It says library. So I found it. And so, yeah, I found it and then my camera side. So we got the library key. I forgot if you click. Whoa. <laughs> I clicked way off and that made me go way somewhere else. I don't know if this is for the library though. I guess we could check. Door still unlocked. So it's not for the library. We did get another key, which is pretty good. Uh, it took me forever to figure that out. It's always like the smallest things ever. So let's uh, save. Possibly this side way over here. Or that one room that I didn't get to check out just yet. So that could also be the library. Oh, and not. So this is it. Awesome. Okay, so now I have to check a bunch of- was that someone dead? There's someone dead there? What's in here? Oh! Fucking damn it! Damn it! Don't check that cupboard! God damn it! So, so we're not checking that, we're gonna check if there's anything of value here. Train ride. Okay, I read this once, she killed her lover. Sounds great! Sounds like you have a very good collection of uh, Yandere books, uh, which I think that will help the weird girls. The words of whatever by Sonzika Me. I can't even say her name. Um, it's one of those village myths of the old days. I'm more or less looking if there's something important in here, because I need a key. Wait, there's something weird about this one. Do you want to reach? Yes, we want to reach! What's in there? <laughs> Fucking! Damn it! 
Damn it! So now we're over here. Nothing. Nothing. <gasps> oh shit! Is that a dead body? I don't know, but let me check these bookshelves before we continue to go that way. We will check it in a minute. Okay, let's check the dead body. It's covered in a blanket and lots of blood. You found a note in the corpse's pocket. Another note. February 10th. I hid a key in one of the books. I checked all the books. I get. I wonder if it, it, it's not going to give it to me unless I read this, though. There was one that said reach in, which I assume that's where it's at, then. I assume. I'm going to save before I do it, though. I discovered it. I don't have any time left. I'm injured very badly, and I can't move my body. I left a letter somewhere in this house. I can't remember where it was. My memory feels fuzzy, and my eyes slight, slightly uh, sights getting blurry. I can hear her banging on the door. The whole story is written in that letter. Please, if you're reading this, find the letter, solve the case, and give us justice. Yumi. This is Yumi? I can't believe she was just left here. This is getting creepier the longer I stay here. I need to focus. Is there anything else on her? So, I... I'm gonna go save before I check these bookshelves. Oh, it said I had a key in one of the books. One of the books, not one of the bookshelves. It's in one of the books. I already took that book, so I guess that it might be over on this book. Do you wanna open it? Open it? Okay, I got it. I found the key. So I got another key. Though I don't know where exactly it leads. I should save. I should save, but I didn't realize it meant a books, not bookshelf. That was like the thing with me. I found it. I found it. You're gonna sneak. Fucking damn. Okay, we got in. This place is filled with blood stains. The house is also filled with blood stains. Oh, we can save here. Okay. I appreciate that. I appreciate your saves. There's nothing underneath the bed. There's going to be something underneath one of these beds. I am concerned. Nothing underneath the bed. Don't kill me. Nothing underneath the bed. Do you want to open? Yes. I found a, a bloodied axe. It's an old and probably can't break doors down. But I can still use this. <gasps> For the crate, maybe. For the crate, possibly. Are those footsteps? Shit. Okay. Okay, we gotta sneak this. <gasps> There's something up there. What's that? Shadow over there. <laughs> oh! You were murdered! Okay, I'm gonna try to get the shadow to chase me. that shadow thing it's not human what if I go back in did it go it left I'm hurt I have 50% health that hurt me so bad oh that hurt me so bad is this what I can open it with let's use the axe is there health anywhere here we go done oh what's this you found a storage room key. Storage room key. Where is their storage room? I'm assuming it's way over here next to the kitchen. Because that would kind of make sense. Or not kitchen, but next to the dining. Well, actually, this would be the kitchen, wouldn't it? Door's still locked. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. It fucking came out of nowhere. I think I'm going to try to run away from it without getting hit first. I think that's what I'm gonna try to do. So, get it to chase me. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Made it. Fuck off. Didn't get hit this time, but he was up in the shadow area afterwards. So I'm gonna save on eight. Are you here? 
No, you're not. Okay, so when I grab the thing, it appears. So let's grab this. I don't see the eyes anywhere. Oh, I see the eyes now. So I think it's up there. So what I need to do... Of here are you you blocking the way okay we're not going that way then I ran away so I got to keep going then did I like can I have, like not triggered it at all the door is locked that door is <gasps> oh the game froze the game broke that way God see a sucker I'm good. I'm fucking good. Don't be up there. Okay, he's not up there. Good. Was this door open before? I don't know. But I really hope I don't have to redo this. That door is locked. I'm like looking for eyes so hard right now. What's this? My clock. Try the key. It's really dark in here. I have to be careful. Well, I see no red eyes. So I'm guessing I'm fine. Don't kill me. There is nothing in here but old photos. Diaries, decorations, and mementos. And another key! Found a room key! I wonder if this is where the hidden thing is, by the way. It probably is, to be completely honest. Wait, there's something inside it. Oh, don't check it! I need to save before I do that. I need to save so bad before we check stuff like that. Like, that's just a dead giveaway. I need to save. What's this? Okay, I can save here. Awesome. So I can go back and check that. Which shouldn't be an issue. Let's go check that. It probably will kill me. Um, I assume the bat is a another ending though. If you do get the bat. Don't kill me. Check it out. There's a... Oh! It's a huge cockroach! Wow! Thank you for that! Nothing in here. Barrel. Nothing, nothing. I'm surprised. Use the axe, use the axe. I spiked a baseball bat. I found it. This would be a good weapon. So I found it, that's awesome. So that should give me a, another ending if I'm right. So let us save over here and check this. Do you want to open the... Sure. Why not? There's nothing in there. There's something underneath the beds. Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. Is that a dead body? Well, that is interesting. Nothing interesting. What if we check the body again? Again. Why would you make us come here? There's something under the floor. You found a bloody stained note. I saw it. I it I looked inside the master's bedroom and I saw it. The dead bodies of the maids, the masters, were all there. The bedam had gone insane. She probably kept the jealous jealous uh, jealousy inside her long before I came here. And a few months ago she finally snapped. I didn't know what else to write. I can't think of anything else but to leave this place. The madame is keeping a close watch on each of us, and a leaving won't be easy. But I determined I can no longer stay in this place knowing that I may be the next one to join those dead bodies. I plan my escape midnight. I hope she doesn't find me. Looks like she was caught by the madame after all. There's a key in there as well. The master's key. 
shit. More footsteps, and it's faster now. Well, if I get hit at all, I'm screwed. There's no healing items, which kind of screws me up. Oh, shit. I got... I, I'm fucking gone. Damn it. Oh, God. So I think we got enough for the master room. Okay, we unlocked it. The floor is really unstable. I'm afraid I might collapse any time. Well, I'm looking for eyes. There's there's a lot of blood here. Just pointing that out. That's a lot of blood. There's someone here. Is this the creepy girl that we haven't even talked to? The just <laughs> ominous things? Kira, is that you? What are you doing here? Better not be writing your death notes. Oh, Nashiki Senpai. I didn't expect to see you here. <laughs> Kira, uh, do you have any idea what about... Do you have any idea about what happened to Yuna, Akiko, and Suneko-san? They've been acting really crazy. C crazy? Kira? Senpai? Did you really know that it's rude to talk about other girls when you're in front of one? And am I not enough? <laughs> uh, shitty shit shit. Oh, wait, Kira, come down. Wait, what's that thing you're holding behind your back? Oh, this? This is for those who try to get close to you. <laughs> like those dumb bitches. <laughs> shit, I fucking knew it. Senpai, could you please come closer to me? Is that okay? Senpai? Fuck off! Fuck this shit! Ah! Uh, did it collapse? No! I think it collapsed. Ah! Uh, my back! Where am I? I see a bunch of dead bodies. There's a lot of corpses. This must be the master's bedroom. Oh, it connects in the two spots. Just like Yumi said in her letters. Now. Now. Nasiki's son? Is she behind the locked door? <laughs> Nasiki kun, are you there? Shit, shit, shit. Even the window? Nesiki! Fuck. I'm done for. Senpai, I'm coming down. Wait for me, okay? <laughs> oh, shit! Shit, I need to find a way to escape. So, I think I can wait. 14 seconds. Oh! What? What's with the- I can't check the dead bodies? I can't fucking check the dead bodies? Is there another place to get out? Is there another piano? I don't have time to play, I need to escape! <laughs> oh! Why, hello there. How are you guys doing? <laughs> I didn't try to run. I didn't try to play the piano. Oh, Nishiki-kun. <laughs> are you scared? <laughs> don't bully him, Sunaku-senpai. <laughs> I thought about having fu uh, 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 I thought about having him for my own, but Nisiki hates selfish people, doesn't he? <laughs> I didn't do it to uh, Mia because I was selfish, you know? I was just... Damn it. I couldn't save Mia. And now, I'm going to die. I just want to die. I can't take this anymore. I can't take this anymore. Please, just kill me. If that's what you wish, Senpai, we will take care of you. Huh. The end. One out of four endings. Interesting. Made by that person. Oh, I can skip a little bit ahead, I think. 
Shit. I'm gonna have to do so much. Okay, so we got a few wait. Oh shit, that was an accident to click that far. Um, what if I open the door? I could have to break this door down to find myself at the same time. Break it. She's not here. What? Ooh, seems like w no one's in here. I have to get out of here quick. Ah! Nasiki kun Did you thought that you could get away from me that easily? You bastard! You killed... May. She never done anything against you, so why? Oh, but she did, Nasiki kun I told you she was an obstacle for me. You stole her heart, and that's why she had to die. <laughs> you demon! Killing for a reason like that! You deserve to be burned to death. Did you see for yourself? Now, do you uh, do you see yourself now, Nisiki Kun? You're willing to burn me for that girl, but don't worry. Your heart is mine now. Did she kill me? Also, I'll cherish it eternally. So I died again that way. That was three. What's up with the bat, though? I have a bat. Shouldn't the bat be protecting me in some way? But I feel like death is here, no matter what. Akiko. Nsiki-san. Please stand down. You don't need to be scared anymore. I'll protect you. I love you. Stop that nonsense, Akiko-ko. Uh, Akiko-ko. Akiko. Love? You have no idea what it means. You're gonna kill me. That's the same way you killed M Mei. No, Nisiki-kun. I'm doing this to protect you. Protect me? Do you even know what you're saying? If the others are gonna kill you, and you're gonna die, then I... I want to be the last person you'll ever see. I want to engrave... In engraved in your mind, Nisiki son, and I want to be the only person with you on your last breath. How about you just fucking protect me at this point? I'll take anyone that doesn't kill me. You're insane, Akiku. Move aside, and I'll use the axe without hesitation. You know, you can't do that, Nisiki, Nisiki son. I'm sorry for being selfish. What about the fucking baseball bat? Is that just, like, maybe the baseball bat is for something else? Um, I love you. Um, maybe the baseball bat is for ending two out of four. Uh, for that little shadow thing? I, I don't know. It could be, though. Let's do this. The baseball, okay. We have to use the baseball bat to get out. So it was for an ending. I just don't think it was for... What I really want. It's raining now. Yuna. Hello, Nasiki. I'm glad you chose me. I got a little pissed off. You step away. I don't want to hurt anyone, but please leave me be. I can't do that, Nasiki. Like I said, you belong to me. And I belong to you. If I let you go now, you'll never come back. Yuna. Please, just let me go. If not, then I have no choice. Try it if you can, Nesiki. Don't kill me. Fucking damn it. No, you'll never leave me, Nesiki. God damn it. Um, so we died again. And that was the other ending. So... In all of them, we end up dying. I was expecting to actually be kidnapped at the last one. I was expecting to be kidnapped. Uh, but that didn't work out. And the girl uh, that we're trying to save already died. Apparently. In all the things. They, they were, I know the developer was talking about that they might add a, another ending. I was checking that out. But it's not added. Um, 
He might add it though, from what I'm aware of. But I, I thought it was an okay RPG. It was pretty good. It wasn't bad. I wish that we could have something besides dying. I think that's the only thing that I don't like is that we all died in it. Like the kid, I was expecting a kidnap for the last one, but apparently we get stabbed again. We get stabbed every fucking way. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one though. If you guys did, then definitely do it with the like button. It really helps the channel out. Subscribe, comment, stuff down below. And I will see you guys another episode of whatever I make.